Not to stop the video, obviously watch the video, but put this thing in your cart. Use my link, put it in your cart, go buy it. For the price, you're gonna be shocked. If you don't like it, return it. Returns are free. And we have a new RC, which can't even see if I'm in frame now. We have a new RC from Ben from Bez Guy here. One of the things I thought was kind of, oh, right there, the camera's there, guy. One of the things I thought was kind of cool about this car was, um, believe it or not, that right there, that little uh, that little symbol right there, what, what do they call that? QR, QR tag or a QR thing. It goes right to, it says, 24-7 customer service. So in reality, what is that telling you? That's telling you that at least this company has the intention of maybe giving you a little help. This is called the HM164 from Bizga. So this is another cheap RC. We're going to crack open. We're going to see what's inside of this box. It's kind of weird. They list like IP5 as like it's some major thing. It says it's uh, <clears throat> it says it's waterproof level, but it's low pressure. Like says low pressure water jet, which I, I, I'm going to tell you right now. Don't go driving this thing in the water. Did already pull the tape off, pull the car out. This side of the box, you've got that standard kind of remote that Bezgar has. We have 2.4 gigahertz. You've got steering trim, steering, you got a speed switch, steering mode, power switch. It says steering and speed switch, so dual rate. Then it has a speed mode, which looks like a selector and a power switch. You got forward brake, backward, battery cover, antenna, turn right, turn left, trigger, stuff like that. This side of the box, just Bezgar. This side of the box, latest upgrades. So, let's check this out. Apparently this truck, as far as the latest upgrades include, metal gears throughout, ball bearings, they're shielded, doesn't matter, just make sure you lube them up, especially if you're gonna drive through water, but just don't. Metal uh, rear dog bones, metal front CVDs, metal transmission cups, aluminum capped oil filled shocks. I gotta tell you, when I pulled this thing out, I really didn't think this had oil filled shocks. I saw this and I was like, man, I was like, ah, it looks like it's got the stupid junk shocks that it's just friction spring, but this, in oil filled shocks so we'll check that out we got a metal spur main drive shaft assembly typical to what you see in this model and then you've got a machined metal diff gears and diff pinions so this saying machine what does that actually mean does it actually mean with still powdered gears and a machine is creating them most likely. Uh, we got a length, a width, a height, a wheelbase, wheel diameter, wheel width, and a gear ratio. That's pretty crazy that they list that information on this box. We already have stuff sliding out of the box. So let's check out and see what has already come out. So inside the box, which I think is kind of cool, they actually give you a lipo bag. Now I haven't opened up one of these things, so I've seen them, but I never opened them up. I'm not sure how good these lipo bags are, but it's definitely designed for those small little packs. Check that out. That's not too bad, man. Nice little lipo battery uh, holder. You got here? They got a place where, yeah, two LiPo batteries. So does that mean this comes with two LiPo batteries? Well, anyways, you got Bez guy right there, little LiPo thing. Make sure you always charge your LiPo batteries uh, within, make sure you keep your batteries within sight when you're doing this. We do have an instruction manual. I don't really go too much into this. We've got a protection plan from Bezgar. So it's got a one year Bezgar protection plan. Scan the QR code, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Amazon, what else we got in here, anything else? All right, nothing else. So right away, as far as the manual goes, eight, eight ages plus, bam, I want to go right to the back because that's all I really care about. And there you go, exploded view. Gives you part numbers, screws, parts, all the parts. You've got, uh, they could have done a little bit better on how they did this. If they took up a full page, maybe did it a different way because it's a little askewed having it right down the center right there, but you know, no big deal. Kind of gives you a general idea, like I said, all the part numbers and everything for what you need. Uh, that is the most important thing is giving your part numbers and also part support. Looks like we do have to put on a wheelie bar as far as I'm understanding here. And this thing does not have a wing. Uh, looks like we've got some part numbers here. Yep. So you got your part numbers and all the physical or picture. At least you've got pictures that show you what the parts are if you don't know exactly what they're called. So that's all that mattered to me. All this other garbage doesn't matter. It's just stuff. It's good to have. Shows you how to operate the vehicle. Shows you how to operate the uh, remote. So let's see what's inside the box. Into <laughs> okay, inside the box, this is pretty cool. They give you a clear body, man. So if you wanted to experiment on, um, if you wanted to experience, want to see if this is coated. I believe this has, yeah, it does. So this has that plastic wrap on it, which is good, but they do give you a clear body. So if the kid or an individual wants to go ahead and paint a body or get used to figuring this out for themselves, that's a great deal. The only thing that I don't think I see is window sticker decals. So, or at least a window, uh, window tape. So you might want to figure that out, but we'll see inside the box. Maybe it'll come with window tape. Doubt it, but 
because if anything, the window tape should have come inside the manual. Maybe I missed it. Definitely no window masking. The page feels very... Oh, whatever. Okay. Got Bez guy right there. Bez guy there. We don't need any of that garbage. We don't need that. And we don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or this card. All right. So we got the truck. Truck has got some good weight to it. And that feels planted. That's nice. I do know that this is a brushless version. Just by going like that and seeing the brushless motor inside. That's a big plus. Inside of here, we've got the uh, remote. Oh, we got a little goodie bag. A little goodie box in here. So we've got a goodie box. And the remote is... Zip tied inside. Good idea. Let's see if my let's see if my knife let's see if my knife will take care of this zip tie. <laughs> Probably not. Alright, here we go. Pull the remote out. Uh, there we go. There was a sticker inside of here. It is a warning sticker, it fell off, but it basically just talks about when pairing this remote, meaning when you're throwing batteries in, turning it on, make sure you're not squeezing the trigger in any way. Probably the same thing with the steering wheel because from what I believe is each time it turns it on, it probably goes through some kind of automatic recalibration thing. So just make sure you're not messing around with the trigger when you uh, go ahead and turn it on. As far as batteries, most likely three. Yep, we got three batteries. But uh, yeah, keep in mind that little warning sticker right there. It's pretty important. We got a box here. Box of goodies. Oh, no way, dude. Are you serious? This is a true ready to run. Look at this. What do we got here? The battery tap pack takes about three hours to be fully charged. So that's only the one negative, And that's why I'm saying buy yourself or whatever, get a good battery charger that will charge these batteries quick. Inside of this box right here, we have got one LiPo battery, Bezgar 7.4, 1000 milliamp pack. We have two battery, Bezgar 7.4, 1000 milliamp pack. We have a, they gave you two, no my God. All right, you got two charges. Bam, bam, you got three battery packs that came in this truck, man. That is, that's a big one right there. Because as you're charging, say you do this, but you're supposed to be watching. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but that's a good idea. You've got two battery packs right here that you can charge up right away because they gave you two of these. Now this company makes sense when they do this. They gave you multiple packs and multiple chargers and they basically gave you an, an extra one. But here's a little bonus that they got here. Check this out. You wanna talk about a real, ready to run out of the box. I mean, you buy it, you give it as a gift, it's got everything. And that's the whole point of an RTR. Got batteries. This, this thing's like ready to rip. It's got a uh, wheel wrench, some body clips, and a Phillips screwdriver. So it's obviously going to indicate that everything is Phillips on this truck, which is no big deal. So let's check out the truck itself. So we've got the uh, little Bezgar HM164, which is right there, HM164. It's got a good weight to it. It has definitely oil-filled shocks, man. Check that out. The rear is definitely compressing a lot more than the front, and that's typical, but that is pretty slick. It's got a wheelie bar. Now, I remember using one of these, and this vehicle reminded me of that little 1 16th uh, Revo. Even though I don't have one, it reminded me of its styling, and this is the truck version. The ground clearance looks awesome. Can stuff my hand under there. So it's got good cl ground clearance. The shocks do not allow the chassis to fully compress. That could be a negative. We'll see though, because the shocks are, are also not really, yeah, the shocks don't seem to be bottoming out. But with such a lightweight car, that might not be that big of a deal. I just like doing that. All right, pop the body pins off. They do not have body tethers, but they are little angled clips, which is nice. Power Max. This thing is looking pretty slick. Dude, I've got to do a video on the littles. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got inside. Typical for the body you get. Um, it may not... It may not take very many impacts. Uh, this should have probably that coating on it to give it like that nice bright look. Doesn't say that it does, but it kind of looks like it does. It does. So it does have the peel off sticker that protects the body in during shipping and for painting. So, but it does not have the stickers. So I think um, that's kind of a bummer. So the new body does not have the decals or a sticker pack. So that's just one little negative. They give you a clear body, but you're on your own trying to figure out your stickers. It does have a light kit going to the front. We do have oil-filled shocks, like it said. These parts are known to be very 
very malleable and flexible. I mean, I'm cranking on these arms. It takes a lot to break these little trucks. Check out that front bumper, man. I mean, that thing's getting jacked, and it's fine. Same thing with the, with the uh, shock tower or the body mount. Same thing. Bend that thing back and forth. It's getting jacked. Small little battery compartment. You're not going to find, you know, a separate receiver and all that garbage in here. You do have a three-wire servo. Not that that makes a big deal, but if you did want to pop this out, you could mount things, especially being a truck body, you could definitely mount things in here to make it work. You know what I'm saying? So if you wanted to pop this out and upgrade to a better ESC, you could go ahead and relocate somewhere the ESC and the receiver. You have plenty of room in this truck to do that. Looks like maybe the receiver, plenty of room to put a receiver there. Maybe mount the ESC back here or something like that maybe like on this little uh plate right here with some uh sherlock or that dual lock from 3m so suspension wise very nice it definitely is oil filled i can feel the resistance which is great tires themselves are a very solid tire they're just air filled i would recommend if you do run this thing in the water to go ahead and vent your tires maybe pop these off and when you vent them on the outside stick something in on the inside but without foam you don't have to worry about that if it had foam that's when you need to be concerned because the debris can get inside and not get past the foam as much as it could without foam without foams inserted into your tires so tires like i said they're very um stiff they're very stiff. So they're going to help or aid with the impacts that this truck is going to have. I got to tell you, man, this right here is, is the fact that they, the fact that they gave all these batteries, the fact that they gave all these batteries, I got to tell you that that is, uh, that's a slick thing because guess what? I'm just going to take these right now, toss them in and see what happens. See what we get for runtime out of the box. Meaning if you give this as a gift, will the individual, let's put it this way. This would make sense. Take one of the batteries, right? This is totally making sense. This is almost where I'm saying this might be one of those good, not necessarily a stocking stuffer because it's kind of big for a stocking stuffer. You know, people do gifts and all that stuff during this time of the year. It doesn't have to be a stock and stuff, but whatever it is, that's that's the going consensus, right? But if you're looking for an RC car that you give as a gift and that you want the kid to be able to open it up, or the adult, you want the kid to be able to crack that thing open and literally take it for a ride out of the box, they're going to do that. There's going to be enough charge in this battery. Already got these. There's going to be enough charge in this battery to get the kid ripping. And while the kid's out there having some fun... Those two batteries under parental, uh, what's it, what's, what's, what's the thing that it's called? Parental something. Parental, I don't even know what it's called. Whatever it is, when a parent takes over and, and watches what's going on. So the parent can go ahead and charge these batteries, maybe like on the counter or something like that, uh, just in case there's an issue. But that's great because both batteries will be charging up. And then when the kid comes in saying, hey, my battery died, you got, hey, well, guess what, kid? Go right back outside. Because there you go. Here you got two more batteries already charged and ready to rip and he's brought this car this battery to you and you're gonna go ahead and charge that so i think that's a uh i think that's a good deal all right so let's see here got the three batteries these are long life that's it super quality battery you know what doesn't matter it doesn't have to be duracells doesn't have to be energizers or whatever you like just as long as they work and get literally the kid out there this company has got it going on concerning this they really do that is very smart. So you can see we've got a little red light flashing right now because it's looking for the truck. We'll leave it flashing right now. I'm just going to take a battery and I'm going to go ahead and toss it in this truck just to see if I'm right that this thing is truly ready to rip right out of the box. And hey, watch this. When you put a battery in this truck, um, there's no there's no issue with it hitting the drive shaft. Some other companies could probably take note. So we'll do that. Got a Dean's connector here. We'll plug that in. And then I believe the switch is on the side. Yep. So we've got a on off button right on the side here. Check it out. Now, I'm gonna shut the seat, it did the whole thing. Whoa. All right, so we are on max speed. So this is on low speed. This is on high speed. Good break. It's got some kick to it. Uh, looks like the steering is all set, but I wanted to show you. Watch the remote, right? I'm going to hit the power button off. Okay, never mind. Let's try this again. See how it's looking? Now watch. When it connects, 
Watch the remote. I'm going to click this on. Watch the remote control. See that? The whole thing illuminated. This all illuminated, letting you know that it's connected up. So that's pretty slick, man. Some little minor things like that, and the fact that it gives you a tone, kind of wish a company called Traxxas would give some tones, because they definitely have the ability to do that. Because these are angled, I am wondering, are you better off going this way? Because it kind of goes along with the body, but on an impact, is it going to rip those body pins out? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the body pins this way. It does make them easier to pull in and pull out by hand. And I think on an impact, it's gonna keep the body pin maybe inside. There's a negative to the 45 degree or 30 degree body pins. It's more like a 30 degree body pin. There's a negative and with a negative, there's sometimes a positive. So the positive is it's easy to get on and off. The negative is the fact that, um, the negative is the fact that, uh, come on guy, get it in there. Uh, the negative is that uh, they could potentially rip out, depending upon how you put them in. So, all right, this thing is uh, this thing's ready to rip. So I'm gonna take it outside, and uh, we'll see what this thing can do. All right. So while we've got this going here, I'm gonna go ahead and charge up these batteries. Yes, I am doing the thing that you're not supposed to do. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell anybody. So what I'm gonna do is I'm um, uh, I'm gonna do that thing that I just said don't do. Oh no. You know what I need? I need a charging brick. Well, the thing is that I guess everybody would have a charging brick. But, I want to see how these batteries work. Uh, nothing. Yeah. So the only thing you're missing is a charging brick, but... I had like that little tower of power thing I used to call it. What happened to that thing? That's a good question, you know that? I know, everything's getting jacked again uh huh it's odd little tower of power was gone found the tower of power so what i will do i'll be a little proactive here because i'm going to charge inside and i'm not going to be here Put these right on here. That way if one of these goes up which it ain't going to happen so you got a green light there charges through the balance port and you see right there, a little green flashing light means it's charging. Go ahead, plug that one in, and we should get the same thing. Took it out. Little green flashing lights, so we're ready to go. So I'm gonna leave those right there. I feel confident. I'm not telling you to feel confident because when you start to feel confident, that's when you start to come across issues. So do not ever leave your LiPo batteries charging unattended, ever. Just, just don't do it. It's never happened to me, but it's happened to other people. All right, let's take this little truck out of here. Power on, you see you got the remote. Go hit the button on the side here. Purple and yellow, boom. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so first test. Can it jump off of the counter onto the tile floor and survive? Oh, right on the front wheel. Woo, it's leaving black marks on the tile. Whoa! Whoa! Holy! Wow, this thing's quick! Ooh! Alright, this thing definitely belongs outside. Whoa! Oh my god! Alright, maybe I should put it down to low. Oh, look! <laughs> ah! You know what I should do? My wife would probably absolutely kill me, but. I've wanted to try this. I can't do it off the iPad. Oh, I don't know if I can. If I get a cutting board, we got this bad boy right here. How does she feel? Got this cutting board, right? She's gonna kill me. See if this works. I've always wanted to try this. This is so bad. Oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, there's no way. How's that? Ah, uh, never mind. You know what I was gonna try. All right, let's go outside. This little car's a rocket. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on, little car. So like I said, I'm in the slow, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to high just because that's where I like to see it.
almost. Oh, some kid would have a stinking blast with this. You kidding me? Look at this little thing. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's why it needs a wheelie bar. Oh my gosh. Let's see how it does for climbing ability. They always talk about these trucks being climbing cars, right? Look at that. <laughs> that was actually pretty fun. We should do that again. It's okay, Jaguar is fine. Let's do that again. That's pretty slick. So they say they call these climbing cars, right? I guess that's why. Dude, that's not too bad, man. Yeah, that little thing. Oh, if I was a kid, man, and I got this for the holidays, I'd be pumped. Look at that. Oh, I'd totally be pumped. Does wheelies too, check it out, ready? Wheelie. Well, it did do a wheelie. Here we go. Whoa, it does such a, it does a wheelie so bad it, <laughs> it launches onto its roof. Oh, I was trying to see if it had enough. Oh, I can't believe stuff is frozen already. Well, I might have to go to the skate park with Oh, I might have to go to the skate park with this thing. Oh! Now remember what's happening right now. The kid, or whatever, adult, just got this thing, ripped it out of the package, and is able to take it for a run without worrying about anything. The gift giver didn't have to worry about a stinking thing. That's what an RTR really is, ready to run literally out of the box thing keeps wanting to do wheelies. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, I was hoping it was going to self right. Whoa! Oh, I thought this almost had it. I think this has almost got like... Whoa! You hear it? You hear it, man? This little truck, man. Let's see what we got. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see if I can do like a climb up that. See if I could do that, but I don't think I got the skills there. Nah. Definitely don't. Range is good. Let's check and see how the range really is though. Whoa. Oil filled shocks definitely help this little thing. That's part of the water splash. There was a little bit of water right there. It looked like it survived. All right, let's see what we got for range. Needs a little bit of trim out of the box. Steering trim just a touch. Yeah, this thing goes out of your sight. So the range is awesome. Skate park, this thing would be meant. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, come on, man. This is a fun little truck. If I was a kid, man, 
I'd be psyched. Now you hear the clicking? That's the leaf. It's picked up leaves. <laughs> All right, that's it. Low cutoff. Bam, done. All right, so that was it. That's the runtime that you're gonna get out of the box. The kid will be happy. You got a couple of battery packs already charging right now. You can see we're getting some roof scrapes. The plastic is peeling off. Plastic is peeling off of the thing. This thing isn't that bad, man. Little, little tower of power. I don't know what this thing is called other than the HM164. Uh, power MM, Power Max. I guess they're calling it the Power Max. So right on the front there, it does say Power Max, so. Not too shabby, man. This little, this little truck here, not too bad, man. Not too bad. I don't mind. Running these little trucks, LED lights are still going. Looks like all oh, the suspension is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in another battery pack and uh, see what this thing's got. All right, so I've already got the uh, screen record here going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the, uh, I'm gonna go into, Be oh, actually, I should go into Bezgar. Here's a good idea. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna get the box. I'll be right back. We're gonna see, does this, does this actually work? Does this actually work this way? So what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scan the box. So I'm gonna pull up my camera app. You can see I got my camera app, switch it to photo, and I'm gonna scan that code, open up the web page. Right to Bezga. Save 10% on orders over a hundred bucks. Hey, that's not too bad. So let's see, how much is this truck? Looks like they got a new release called the Wild. What is that? HP 1615, what's up with that? Or is it HP 161S? Is that an S or a five? It looks like the 1615. Uh, let's see what we got there. Chat, oh, look at that. You can even chat with Bezga. Not gonna chat with them. Oh no, I lost it. Here we go. Uh, no, it's the wrong thing, guy. What are you doing, jumbo sticks? No, okay, let's <laughs> try, to try this again. There's the QR code, look at that, nice and easy. Go ahead and we'll go to that. Bezga. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the, uh, the search thing here. So on the, uh, on the search thing, we have got, am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. All right, Bezga. We don't need to start chat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the HM164. So HM164, go ahead and hit enter. H HM164, bam. So there's the truck, 155 bucks. With 10% off, save yourself 15 bucks, something like that. Alexa, 150, well, Alexa, Alexa. Alexa, 156 minus 10% equals what? 156 minus 10% is 140.4. So 140 bucks. So 140 bucks, that's not bad. All right, so we've got uh, equipped with a uh, 2848 brushless electric motor. So this is like literally all the stuff right here. Consumption is only about a third of a brushed one. That's where the positive is with these uh, trucks, but let's see. If I, uh, looking on here, so we're talking, what they say, 140 bucks with that 10% off. Let's quickly go on to Amazon real quick. I'm going to punch on to Amazon right here. Type in HM164. Comes up as brushless, bam, right there. And HM1, whoa. Do I have something wrong here? No. Definitely buy this thing on Amazon. Bezga, why is your price online way off? So you've got, that's a, f wow. Go buy this right now. Go buy this right now. It's 60, 46% off for 70 bucks. This is worth it right now. Go buy this truck today. Uh, you know what? I got to stop this video. I'm going to put this out just so people go and buy this thing. All right. Go buy this truck. For that price, that is definitely worth it. It is 100% ready to run outside the box. Stop the video. Go buy it.
All right. Maybe I'm going a little overboard. But from what I've seen from the other trucks, what I've seen from the other trucks that this company has been uh, providing, this truck is mint. They have other trucks that are good. This is 70 bucks out the door. Like, I mean, look at that. 70 bucks, go buy it now. This is the best deal. But just go, there's a link in the description. Just go buy it. All right. All right, so I'm gonna start this video this way. Do you see that price right there? Before you even watch the video, I'm gonna tell you, go put it in your cart and buy it because you can always return it if you don't like it. Go buy it right now, today. <laughs> Seriously, dude. For that price, 70 bucks, ready to run completely out of the box, just go buy it. Link is in the description. You know what I wonder? I, I wonder, is there a promotion code? Because it said get 10% off, right? Let's try this out. Did they say that there was a percentage? Uh, shipping, uh, save 10. Oh, okay, so it save 10% on all, all orders over 100. Why are they so expensive on their website when on Amazon? Yeah, I don't know. I guess that was good to see, though. Sometimes it's not necessarily the right thing to go buy these RC cars on like their own website because their own website is gonna jack you up. So anyway, this is RC Guy Garage. Hopefully you like this video. I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for an inexpensive deal, just go get that truck. If you don't like it, return it.